Well, hello there. Long time no see. So I'm just starting off on freshly washed hair and I'm just sectioning it down the middle. From the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line, I'm using the Curling Style Milk and the Curl Mousse. For hold, I'll be using the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel and the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Moisture Mist. So now I'm just parting my hair into subsections and I'm just taking my Shea Moisture Milk. This will definitely prevent my hair from looking dry and of course give it tons of moisture. I use about an inch section for each perm rod. I also use about a half of a pump of the mousse and about a dime sized amount of the Argan Oil Gel. Smoothing your hair down is key. So I smooth the product in and I also use my Dimmin brush to make sure that all the kinks and tangles are out. It will be a tragedy to do all this work and have frizzy curls. From there, I just simply rope up the perm rod. I'll be using two different sizes of perm rods. The aqua color ones that you see are about an inch wide and the tangerine color ones that you'll see in a later clip are about a half inch. I just want a variation of curls. You may notice at times that I do what's called pasting. So I paste the ends of my hair to the perm rod so it will give me a more defined curl. And I did the same thing in my flexi rod tutorial so I'll place that in the description box below. I used to be able to use the tangerine colored perm rods for my entire head but since my hair has been growing so much I've been having to use the bigger perm rods. So it's good to see a little bit of growth. From start to finish, the process took me two and a half hours. So make sure you have something to keep your mind occupied so the process can be more bearable. I definitely recommend the moisture mist. Not only do I use it for perm rod sets and flexi rods, I also use it in my wash and goes. It gives my hair such a great hold. Here I am the next morning, ready to take these perm rods out. I can't wait till you guys see the results. I don't add any extra oils to my fingers while unraveling, but you definitely can to avoid extra frizz. My friends and I were debating whether flexi rods were harder to sleep in or perm rods were harder. So whichever one you think is harder to sleep in, let me know, I would love to know your opinion. And here we have next to Perfect Curls. I love Shea Moisture products because they don't have alcohol to so make your hair frizzy and don't dry out your hair either. So that's why you see a lot of shine. I don't particularly like the Shirley Temple curl look on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair. Finger coiling your hair back the way that it was formed is a great way to keep the shape of the curl. One side is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing on the opposite side. I love tons of volume, so I'm going to take my pick and lift my roots. If you don't have a pick, I definitely suggest you invest in one. They're like 99 cents, so worth the investment. I'm just adjusting my hair to the side that I would like it to be. Sometimes I like middle parts, but usually I like a nice side part. I'm also going to fix my baby hair. I'm just using my tried and true curls control paste. I throw a bobby pin under my bangs just so they're not falling in my eyes. And voila, here are the results, you guys. I definitely credit the Shea Moisture Mousse for giving my hair a defined and bouncy curl. I recommend it to everyone, especially if you're doing perm rods. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you guys learned a few things. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Take care. Bye.